One of the difficulties is, uh, as you know, courts have power to either give the value of goods or to return a good. In other words, specific performance. What would it do to you and or to your son in the event that Fleur was handed back to William and Justin? Break my heart, George, to give her back. It's just like, like I said, it's like handing over my child. I do call her my fur child, to be fair. How would it feel today if I specifically awarded William Fleur? Awful, horrible. George. Well, that may or may not be something I might do. I have to consider it. What do your family make of her? I love her to bits. I love her to bits. I take her everywhere with me. She, she, she sits in the tattoo studio with me. She obviously, yeah. <laughs> she, she was like a baby to me when she was tiny. I had a little dummy. But yeah, she, she comes in the tattoo shop with me every day. She sits in the corner on her little couch and yeah. She's... Is the tattoo shop still open? <laughs> No, as of last week, I had to close it. William, you are here today to represent your son and yes. effectively yourself. I've given you that consent because you've been prepared mm -hmm. to represent your son's interests. You've done so eloquently. What's more, I'm impressed with your knowledge of breeding, especially because you do so very responsibly. Steer, you purchased a good. That's what that beautiful creature is in law, a good, a chattel, nothing more than that gavel from... Justin and, in effect, from William. Consequently, you owe them the money for it. Justin did the right thing, saying, if you can't pay, I'm afraid we're going to take it away. Now, I was concerned with Justin's case and yours, mm. effectively, because I believed in the course of the proceedings that there was a discussion to the effect that Justin knew that he would not get the money in the event Steve did not get his compensation. That is not the case. I'm perfectly satisfied that Justin was not in any way agreeing to wait for his compensation before he was paid. It was mm. simple as that. Courts do have the power to return things if they think and deem it appropriate. I believe in this case it would crush Stee and his family. So by a narrow margin, I think it would be inappropriate to do that in this case. But nevertheless, you, William, and on Justin's behalf, are entitled to the full sum. Mm. So consequently, this court does award you £3,500. And you, sir, get your third baby back. Thank you, George. <laughs> the order of this court is £3,500. Thank you, Your Honour. And by regards to Justin, thank you for your help today. You're welcome. William won his case and was awarded the full amount of his son's claim. There you go. Let's find out how both parties felt about the judge's ruling. I was a bit nervous, especially when he said about maybe potentially to giving her back. I was a bit gutted. I was, like, stunned in my, in my steps. I didn't know what to say or do. The judge made the right decision. Uh, obviously, we didn't get the dog back, but we got, we're getting the money that we're... Old, so I'm quite happy. I think Judge Rinder is fair, he's got a brilliant sense of humour as well, and obviously he loves French Bulldogs, it definitely helped my case as such. So, yeah, the judge was fair. Uh, we might get a visit off the judge with them Frenchies that we've got at the house. Thank you. Come on, Flair. <laughs> Don't be stupid, stay and watch the best Judge Rinder moments. And I'm talking, understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel right now. That's an order.